This article is about John Wilkes Booth. Uh, granted, he had some psych disorders, one of which was delusion of grandeur. He saw himself as God's agent in America during the Civil War. He wanted to go back to the good old days of slavery. Um, and therefore, he saw himself as Brutus in um, Shakespeare's uh, play, uh, Julius Caesar. Uh, Brutus killed the emperor, Caesar, and John Wilkes Booth killed Lincoln, the American emperor, from his point of view. Um, and, and, and Booth was invested in the past, in the past in uh, many, many different ways, but crucially, he was invested in slavery. Uh, he saw nothing wrong with enslaving human beings. That was tragic. It was tragic that he had that issue, and it was tragic that a lot of Americans had that issue. But his actions of killing Lincoln stalled any kind of sense of real starting over for America for another century after the Civil War. Uh, the North won the war and lost the peace. Um, Lincoln was killed. The South was forced to end slavery. And so they simply morphed slavery into a new form or edited it into another form of slavery, and they called it segregation. And it was exactly 100 years later um, that finally LBJ got a voting rights uh, bill passed in 1965 exactly a hundred years after the ending of the Civil War. A voting rights bill to, to allow blacks to vote. And that is tragic that, that we have been in this this country or North America for so long and we've gone from slavery to segregation and imagine what blacks have suffered for all those years. Today, 34 states have voter ID laws in place. Nine of the original 11 states of the Confederacy require photo IDs and are very restrictive on who can vote. In 1619, slavery began in the United States at Jamestown. 396 years ago, and we're still addressing the sins of slavery, in part because of John Wilkes Booth. On this 150th anniversary of Booth's death, we can remember his legacy. And the question for us today in America is, what is the legacy that you will be leaving? The children and the children after those in the future. We have lots of issues in America, issues like sexism, 
homophobia, um, the, the great discrepancy between the rich and the poor. But we also still need to address the issue of racism. And on this 150th anniversary of the death of one of the great racists in America, we need to think about the legacy that we will be leaving our children and their children and all future generations. We have a ways to go. In the meantime, you take care. And thanks for reading this article.